tired of D Green with this man. Hey. This is from Columbus. Oh, Columbus. Yep. yep. Literally after my picture went viral, my boyfriend broke up with me about a week later after arguing because he felt like Chris was too close on me. I'm just like, it's one of the most respectable pictures. It felt <laughs> like I was bending over, grabbing my ankles. Um, but I I would trade my ex for me and Chris Brown a hundred more times. So definitely really, really worth it. She is for the street. W boyfriend. That man definitely dodged a bullet, bro. This has absolutely nothing to do with being insecure, bro. Your girlfriend went out of her way to pay over $1,000 for Chris Brown to have his dick on her ass, bro. She is not single. If she's single, okay, do whatever you want with your money. Remind you, these meet and greet tickets cost over $1,000, bro. And she's in a whole relationship. But I guarantee you she was not trying to go half on the rent. But you can pull up and take this picture with Chris Brown, right? And she didn't even feel bad that her boyfriend broke up with her. She said she would do it a million times over. I, I would trade my ex for me and Chris Brown a hundred more times. So. Bruh, Chris Brown said it himself. These hoes ain't loyal. And the fact that she's so proud of her decision, bro. Like, Chris Brown's not gonna remember you, bro. You're just another $1,000. Now, with all due respect to Chris Brown, I actually highly respect Chris Brown, bro. He's literally one of the best artists and performers of our generation, bro. But this girl is so proud. Bro, I believe she truly never liked her boyfriend, bro. Because best believe is she could have fucked Chris Brown for maybe like two or $3,000, Best believe she would have been at the bank taking out a loan. She really tried to justify her actions. Shout out to this king that broke up with his girl, bro. You're gonna find somebody 10 times better. Bro, I guarantee you she never smiled like this in a picture with her boyfriend. This was the happiest moment of her life. But she really made this video like she was the victim. Like her boyfriend did something wrong. This nigga should have broke up with you like last month. You probably already cheated on the nigga before this meet and greet. These hoes ain't loyal. Like, this obsession over celebrities needs to be studied, bro. I'm telling you, bro, these women's entire lives is just based upon keeping up with these celebrities, bro. And I am not saying that Chris Brown doesn't care about his fans, but he does not know your name. He really does not give a fuck about you, ma'am. Now, your boyfriend probably did. But Chris Brown, no, you random thotty. I feel bad for this king, bro, but he has way more in store. If you are a woman watching this and you think there is nothing wrong with letting another man caress you like this while you're in a relationship, you are the problem. And this is the exact reason you are a single mom. You women have no critical thinking skills. Y'all women are disrespectful as fuck, bro. Could never be me. You can truly tell somebody's character by their reaction to this video. If you're a woman watching this thinking this is insecurity by a man... I know what a Zach tight woman you are. You will never be married. You will never find a real man that wants you or loves you. 
and you're most likely a single mom that will never find love because you think this shit is normal. And of course, a toxic woman will say, Oh, it's just an innocent picture. But what if the roles were reversed? What if it was her boyfriend rubbing his dick against Rihanna? <laughs> all hell would break loose, right? Right? Bro, this is for all my kings out there. If you have a girl that's so obsessed with social media... And you peep red flags like she's so invested in other celebrities' lives, bro. Run. Run. Run the other direction 100 miles per hour, bro. Huge, big, big, big red flag. Because nine times out of ten, as soon as she finds somebody with a bigger status or bigger followers than you, she's most likely gonna cheat, gaslight you, and play the victim. This is from Columbus. Oh, Columbus. Yep. Columbus, one one? Ohio. Yep, uh, one of the ones tour. Okay. And um, literally after my picture went viral, my boyfriend broke up with me about a week later after arguing because he felt like Chris was too close on me. I'm just like, it's one of the most respectable pictures. It was like I was bending over, grabbing my ankles. Um, but I, I would trade my ex for me and Chris Brown a hundred more times. So definitely, really, really worth it. And congrats to everybody who got a meet and greet this time, y'all. Look, real right, joy to show up. Thank you. Nah, see, this is why Chris Brown has the infinite money glitch. I promise you. Some people is mad as hell that Chris Brown is doing meet and greets and this man is charging his fans $1,100 each. Mind you, this meet and greet doesn't even include the concert tickets. The concert tickets are extra, fam. And you have to buy a concert ticket. So that's even more money for him. Now, the only thing these fans are getting is a picture with the man, a signed picture, an early entry to the concert, and a whole calendar, fam. He even did this for his last tour and this one fan keep on coming back. He even made a customized shirt from the last tour. Like that is how dedicated they are. He's doing this for 36 cities and the man is charging them 1100. Times that by 100 people per city bro. Dog, he's making almost 4 mil. An extra 4 mil for grabbing cheeks and taking pictures. Sign me up bro, Chris Brown get in the bag and can I hate? Nope. What y'all think about this? Cause hey, yo, game is game. But I'm pretty sure there's like rules and regulations, right? Because what if a bitch comes up there and she's stinking? You know what I'm saying? What if she smells straight like fish? I mean, you gotta give a reef. 